1969, nine black teammates, members of the Orange Football Squad of Syracuse University, made a life-changing decision. Together, this band of brothers decided to boycott the 1969-1970 football season, challenging the school they loved in a collective effort to demand changes and promote racial equality within the university football program. The Syracuse 8 is the long overdue story of that time, that decision and how they, as young men, became change agents in the world of American University athletic programs. The setting is important. It was a time of cultural change in our country. Race and equality dominated the national news. Mistakenly called the Syracuse 8 by the media in 1970, the players actually numbered 9 and included Greg Allen, Richard Bulls, John Godbolt, Dana Harrell, John Loban, Clarence Bucky McGill, A. Aleph Muhammad, Dwayne Walker, and Ron Womack. The players approached the coaching staff with four demands. Access to the same academic tutoring made available to their white teammates. Better medical care for all team members. Starting assignments based on merit rather than race. And a challenge to integrate the coaching staff, which had been all white since 1898. Arthur David Mark chronicles this landmark time in Syracuse University's history in his latest book, Leveling the Playing Field, The Story of the Syracuse 8. 35 years later, in 2006, the university exonerated the Syracuse 8 for their boycott and awarded each the Chancellor's Medal of Extraordinary Courage. In 2011, the university established the Syracuse 8 Scholarship, which is awarded annually to an African American or Latino first year student who exhibited leadership skills and dedication to community service in high school. These young men made difficult choices on their journey to manhood, sacrificing college and potential pro football careers, opting instead for social justice, not just for themselves, but for future generations as well. The story lives on. The conversations about race, shifting cultural attitudes, choosing the hard right over the easy wrong, and bringing communities together to effect change. This is our story, today.